Yeah. Hi, my friends. Yeah, just a minute. My husband is talking to me. Um, we're going to be eating some grease pie, which is made with, um, not with polenta this time, but with semolina. We got it at a Lebanese um, market in the city. We had it the other day and it was so delicious. We were out of the regular milk powder. So um, we made it with the goat milk powder, which is easier for me to digest. And it was really also very good. And tonight it's going to be special because I'm also going to be adding a few cherries. So if you want, you can join me. I got my plate out. I hadn't used it in a very long time. You know how they say, use your plates, use your dishes, or the new wife will? Haha, -ha, but it's not funny, is it? So enjoy it while you have it. I'll be eating some of these Oregon specialty fruit red tart cherries. I got them from Amazon Prime. It says whole pitted cherries in water. They didn't add any sugar. I like that. Um, since 1935. It says red tart pitted cherries and water. I'll have them tonight um, with some semolina porridge. Um, I had a, a porridge similar to the semolina um, porridge recently that I made with um, cornmeal. When I had it in Germany as a child and we got cherries with it, that was a special treat we always made. So this will bring back some memories. Even though my grandmother made her own I mean, she can't, um, and um, what I like about these is that there's no sugar added, and so let's try them. Look at my special semolina porridge, topped with cherries and a little bit of cherry juice. Mmm, -hmm. good. Mm. A nice hot porridge, sweetened to perfection. Oh, no rainy day. Actually the rain is over, but it's a bit damp and kind of cold outside. Not so comfortable for me. I mean, who likes to be outside in this kind of weather. I don't. Mm, so good. putting my plate up higher so that you can see it better. What about that? Mm. It's delicious. What kind of porridge do you like? 
Mm-hmm. We used a whole goat milk powder. And water, of course, to mix it. And sugar. Thank you for your nice comments, my friends. I appreciate it. Mm. If you are a young teenager, you can make that. Even if you are 10 years old or maybe even 8 years old, you could make that all by yourself. I bought a rice cooker from Amazon at a reasonable price of $16 and something. And all you have to do is put the ingredients in there and turn it on. And when it starts to bubble, take the lid off for a second and um, put the lid back on. I mean, just 15 seconds or so and then put the lid back on and turn it off and it will get soft um, by itself the rest of the way um, all you need to do is push the button to cook that's it and if you want to keep it warm for another hour or so or longer just turn on it turn on the button and it keeps it warm and the cherries are good then you have a, a cheap good meal after school and all it will be ready in no time. I get some polenta or semolina. I I used semolina this time and last time. All the other times I use used cornmeal, polenta, Italian. Cornmeal is polenta. Yeah, no. You can use just milk, if you have milk at home, or have some kind of a milk powder. I only like the needle milk powder. The other milk powder tasted too much like dry milk powder. Then I like the good milk powder. That's really good. Yeah, the goat milk powder is, um, the name of it is um, Mayenberg whole, whole milk powder. I always have my Huggies pads ready for my mouth and hands. It's so convenient. Even though I don't have any more babies right now. I still like using those pads. Wet, wet pads. That mothers use for their babies. So, I clean stuff with it too. 
like cables and everything. I said I get clean. Can you see me? I told my husband that I'd leave him some because he's quickly finished with his. He likes it so much. <gasps> it's falling. So he said he had plenty and I said to him, oh, polenti. Except this isn't polenta, like I said, this is the semolina. What you doing? Are you a troublemaker? I'm an actor. I've been acting up ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? It's funny, huh? a little bit more cherries on a little bit of cherry juice or too much on top Look at this. That's for cherry tree. Can you believe it? This is stoning now. You have to be careful. Because sometimes you could bite on one. They usually warn you on the label of the can. My husband even read me a beautiful Bible verse the other day. I was actually talking about going down into the pits of some... And what was the Bible verse again? Do you remember it? About being dead. <coughs> going down into the pit meant being dead. Oh yeah. That is obviously not a beautiful Bible verse. But that God would be with him. God you. saved David from being going down into the pit, and that was beautiful. Because he saved him. David. King David. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's not pitiful. It's beautiful. I think I'm... Yeah. You nearly have to make twice as much, Ellen. You know? We could do that. I guess you could feed a whole army with that. Can you imagine? Would be so interesting to cook for a whole lot of people. Have them enjoy their food. And not have to go hungry. This is really cheap. And if you had no milk at all, and you want it even cheaper, you could 
just make it with water. Put something else in that tastes good, maybe cinnamon and salt it. Vanilla flavor. I don't know. I kind of like it better without vanilla flavor. I have to try it again. I got some new vanilla paste. I haven't used it yet. I just got it. I'm going to try and make it. The porridge with it. Using it. Bye. Thank you for watching. Have a cherry great time. Have a cherry great evening. Bye.